Today I want to talk about uh, optical tachometers, in particular one made by Model Avionics. It's called the SkyTac. Um, it's like all optical tachometers. It has a lens opening with a shutter that rotates and the speed of the shutter um, is timed to an LCD readout or a readout of some sort that will give you an indication of how fast it's turning in RPMs. You look through this lens at your helicopter at the main rotor head and what you'll see is as the speed of this shutter approaches this RPM of your rotor head, the blades will appear to stop uh, while looking through this. So it's a way to get an idea of, of real-time feedback on your rotor head speed, whether or not you're just trying to set uh, your throttle curves or whether or not you're trying to verify or match uh, a governor setting. This one is uh, a bit smaller than my standby, which is an XL uh, tachometer. This one's kind of vintage. It's the one that had uh, actually a battery in it instead of rechargeable. One thing that uh, I really like about the SkyTac is that it doesn't have an on-off switch per se. The original uh, XL had an on-off switch. Really easy to turn it on when you put it into its case or uh, if it was bouncing around in your flight box. So usually when I got to the field, it was dead and I couldn't use it. This one automatically shuts itself off after 30 seconds, so that's going to be less likely to be an issue. If for some reason it is, it uses a standard 9-volt battery, very easy to replace at the field or anywhere else. So to turn it on or off, you simply rock the rocker switch um, and this is for speeding up or slowing down the RPM. It will restart at the RPM it was last at, which in this case was 1800. Um, the way the readout works is it's a three digit readout, so you have to multiply it by 10 to get the RPM. But this particular unit will go up to 3190 RPMs or as low as 1000 RPMs. Um, 3190 is in the range of most uh, helicopters today except for the really small ones and uh, 1000 is just about as slow as anybody's going to turn one. Maybe some of the scale guys will, will turn them slower but uh, normally normally in the 1650 to 2200 range is mostly what uh, folks are using now. So it's a uh, very compact comes with um, a set of setup instructions that include all of the details as to how to use it and its uh, specifications. It's a nice little unit, easy to uh, use. It's um, like all optical tacks, rather difficult for you to use it while you're actually flying the model. You're pretty much going to need somebody to help. It's not totally impossible to check the RPM while you're flying, but uh, it's it's not really recommended because you're going to have to take a hand off of one of the controls. Anyway, that's the uh, SkyTac from Model Avionics.